Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to talk you through how to make this quilt behind me. And this was made for us by my friend Julie for us to use in this demonstration today. The pattern is a free download and it will be in the link below. The pattern talks about making a 70 by 70 inch quilt. This one is approximately 60 by 60. And for this, you're going to need a charm pack and we've used Holly Taylor's Winter Flurries. You're also going to need two and a half meters of the gray fabric and we used the Macawa linen look fabric. And you're also going to need two meters of white fabric and we use the Bella Solid White. And you're also going to need a meter of fabric for the border. And again, that was the Holly Taylor Winter Flurries fabric. For the fillet and binding, you're going to need three quarters of a meter of a contrast color. And Julie used the blue fabric from the Winter Flurries range. So let's get started. It's made up of a block, which is the charm square complete. So you don't have to cut the charm square. But what you do need is you need four half square triangles from the white and gray. And these are two and three quarter inches. Now I'm gonna talk about the measurements, but as I say, it will all be in the pattern in the link below. You're then going to need four rectangles. Now the white background here measures two and three quarter inches and the little gray piece that you sew on measures one and a half inches. And these are joined together like this. So you need four of those and they are going to form the sides. So don't forget when you make these, that you lay it on the top. I'm just trying to find the one that I had. Uh-huh, here we are. So you lay it on the top of the corner and you sew across on the diagonal and then you trim it back. Now you can either trim it with your scissors or you can trim it with a rotary cutter. So you just trim away the bulk and then you press that back and you do that with all your rectangles. So when you've made four rectangles, four triangles, you're gonna have your rectangle like that and then you're going to join. Let me just show you a bit closer. Then you're going to join a half square triangle to your two rectangles. Now, what I would recommend is do these rectangles first because you need to form the point going that way and you need to form your triangles going that way. So I'm just gonna suggest that you put those two together first and then you add those. So you do that twice. And so you can see that this is how it's gonna join up, like this. And then you put in your other two that you've joined and you can see the point coming up there and that you put those there. And that's how you make your block. And Julie's very kindly prepared one here for me. So she's done the two short ones first and then you would sew the long ones on either side. So your block looks like this. So that is your finished block. And you're going to do that for as many times as you want to. Now on the quilt behind me, we've got six rows of five. So she's used 30, so she's picked out her favorite ones. And that's the good thing about using a charm pack if you've got any that you are not so keen on, shall we say, you can fish those out. So that's your block. And then it's sashed with two and a half inch strips. So we're now just gonna go over to the quilt and we're gonna talk about it in a little more detail. So the blocks have been put together with a two and a half inch sashing. So what you would do is you would put your sashing between your blocks first until you've made your row and then you would join your rows together with your sashing that is either side of your blocks until you've got all of your quilt together. 
And Julie's done this lovely little fillet here in the same colour as she's done on her binding. And what I really like, on this border, we've got here Julie's trademark of joining her pieces together when you haven't got a long enough piece of fabric for the border. And we've actually got a video on this, how you make these little fillets to make a feature of your joins. So I love the fact that Julie does this on all of her quilts. And then she's quilted it using a wavy stitch like she's almost gone like a cross hatch design across the quilt using this wavy stitch across the blocks and then she's gone in between each of the sashing with the wavy line and she's come down the border with the wavy line and I think that's really really pretty it adds something it adds a different dimension to the quilt and then on the back of the quilt she's used our extra wide fabric so this is the blue extra wide thatched fabric and this is lovely because it's got a bit of texture in it and you can see all that lovely quilting on the back as well. So I think it's a really great example of what you can do using a charm pack. So as always, make it your own, have fun and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.